are the facets of connectivity? Leading down, leading up, leading across, and leading beyond. So we thought it was really important to tease these apart because we, one study showed that about 85% of the leadership literature is focused on leading down in a hierarchical organization. So you're the boss who reports to you. And that's fine, that's important, but that's only one place you lead. So you've got to get that right so you've got a strong team, but we've all got a boss. And sometimes you have to lead up to your boss. Again, if you think of leadership as behaviors, not role or rank, there are times you've got to help your boss make a decision or set priorities or see what's coming around the corner. You've got to lead that person to where they need to go. And then across the different components of an organization, those silos, how do you connect them in intelligent ways so they're working together and not across purposes? And beyond the entities outside of your four walls. So most of us these days work in situations where you've got strategic partnerships or long supply chains or various times you have to get people to work together who aren't under one single CEO or board or governance structure, uniting them as well. So thinking about those and what are the different power dynamics in each one of them, how do you influence with each one of those, helps people understand all the different facets of how they can build connectivity. Interesting. You don't necessarily have to be the boss to be the leader. Absolutely. Because if you're leading up, you're leading by helping your boss make decisions. Absolutely. That's interesting. Yeah, yeah and we, yeah. We, we talk about that, that if you are a good boss, you're willing to be led at the appropriate times. You know, there are times you need, it may be a developmental opportunity, you want to give somebody else the chance to lead, or it may be just because situationally it's appropriate. When I used to produce conferences and I was at the front of the room, my production manager, who worked for me, it's like, Maggie, you're in charge. And now she would tell me what to do. Because my job was not to know what was going on. My job was to be up on the stage saying, welcome, ladies and gentlemen, here we go. Mm -hmm. I didn't have the visibility or the, the position at that point to make all the decisions. I followed her lead, even though she worked for me.